Hey guys, um, getting ready to do some slingshots, as you can tell. But uh, some of you guys already seen this. I, I poured these on the on the live stream the other day, which is still posted on my channel. If you want to see it, you could check it out. But uh, since then, I've gone through and poured a few more. But I kind of switched up my design a little bit. So I'm currently pouring these. So I just made them a little tiny bit shorter and tapered the handle slightly just to make a little less volume. Uh, because these are too big to be able to pour two at once with the electric furnace. So with the new, uh, with this size, I can actually just, I can pour two at a time instead of one at a time. And I'm making it a little smaller because I want to try pouring like some copper ones or something. So uh, that'll be a little easier to pour. Anyway, I got two ready. I'm going to set up, just bury them in some sand. Furnace is running and then we'll pour, pour two of these. All right, so I got two of them just buried in this box together. It's just dry, loose sand. Uh, I trimmed them off, kind of flush to the top of the sand. Sand, I vibrated it in with this, this reciprocating saw. Really settles the sand down, makes it pretty firm. And then I got this just can to put over it. And I'll fill around the can with some more sand to keep, keep it in place and keep the aluminum from leaking out underneath. And then uh, when I'm ready to pour, I'll just dump it in all at one shot, fill this can up, and then you should see it, you should see it settle down and flow down into the foam. We're getting full. It's going to take a pretty full crucible to be able to do two, but I just dropped these wires in let them melt in once it's gone I'll stick another one in like so till we're full and then uh, once that's ready we'll pour it okay we're pretty full here now <clears throat> They don't recommend going that full, so I don't recommend it either. But anyway, uh, this aluminum wire doesn't create much uh, much slag or dross, so I don't, I'm not going to skim it. I'm just going to pour it as is, and we'll get you set up and uh, pour it out here now. So I'm expecting a little bit of fire to come off when it when I first poured aluminum in because the foam that's kind of exposed will rise it to the surface and burn but then it should go pretty calm and then you should be able to see the aluminum just sink down into the can as it goes down in so hopefully that's how it goes and uh, yeah let's do it Yeah, so that went pretty smooth. Looks like it worked pretty good.
There's the plaster Cody. Just falls off. Makes for a real nice finish. Yeah, it worked out good. Well, here's the, here it is, basically straight out of the sand, a uh, little quench in water. I got uh, one little bubble here on this guy. But maybe a couple little on the top here, but I mean, pretty perfect, really. Pretty simple. Now I just got to cut these off and uh, just sand, sand it smooth there and, and give them a wire wheel and they're ready to go. Could probably break this apart here. <clears throat> yeah. So I'll cut these off and uh, wire wheel them and yeah, done. Well, here they are, cleaned up. I suppose you could uh, spend some more time polishing them and whatnot, but I'm not that kind of guy. I'm happy with the dull finish. You can see these ones. Uh, the wire wheel tends to do a good job just putting a matte finish on there. So... Anyway, I was going to try selling these on Marketplace, but they won't let me sell weapons. <laughs> kind of crazy, but uh, anyway. Uh, I'm going to try doing some copper ones next time, I think. So hit subscribe and come back. I'll see you guys next time.